Okay, this video is for anybody experimenting with Slayer's latest circuit, which is the Choke Exciter. Now, if you're looking for a source of inductors which will work, you can find them inside a CFL bulb. Now, I've got loads of these left over from the Dueringer experiments, and this thing here, which looks like a transformer, is actually an inductor, and that works really well. And this one here, it's got the large square inductor at the front there, but it's also got a three microhenry choke around the back, a little black thing there by my thumb. And that works really well. So what I've done is I've built two circuits up. I'm just using the basic Slayer circuit, but with one modification, which is the tranny mod. And that's an extra transistor, which goes from the collector of the extra transistor to the base of the existing one. The base of the extra transistor goes to the emitter and the emitter of the extra transistor is just left floating. And that modification reduces the current draw by half. So those LEDs are really bright. And there's also a, uh, a neon off the back end. So there's more LEDs which could be lit there. And uh, there's the inductor there. It's just got four turns of bell wire around that. And uh, it's really, really strong exciter that actually for such a small thing. Now the second circuit using the three microhenry choke, those LEDs are really bright as well. That's drawing 45 milliamps. The first circuit was drawing 43. And uh, there's the inductor there. It's a tiny little black thing with six uh, turns of bell wire, sorry, of six turns of 26 gauge mag wire around that one. And uh, it's very usable as well. So if you're looking for an inductor which will work with this circuit, uh, have a look inside a CFL bulb. And uh, I'm sure you'll find something in there which will work. Okay, thanks for watching.